Ah! Welcome to Sauce, a series that pits Amazon's highest rated sauces against each other. I am your pit master for the day, Joey Scladani, and today's episode is Kansas City style barbecue sauce. So in front of me, we have five different sauces. These four are from different restaurants in the Kansas City region. They look similar, but taste different. And then of course, we've got our Heinz right smack in the middle. Now, I think my criteria is going to be one. I don't like it to be too, too sweet. Yes, I'm aware that it's a ketchup base. Yes, I'm aware that ketchup is sweet but if it's just full of sugar, I'm not into it. Second, I need the sauce to be thick. Kansas City style barbecue is thick. It's not runny like its Carolina counterparts. Lastly, I do think there needs to be a slight level of smoke, whether that's done artificially through a liquid smoke or if they're extra, extra fancy and they smoke an ingredient before mixing it in. So our first contender is Fiorella's Jack Stack Barbecue. Smelling it, ooh, it smells good. Pretty standard. Uh, I would say the texture is something I really like. This one is definitely silky. What I do like about this one is it's not overly sweet. It's definitely something that if I had a pile of fries, I would just keep dipping and dipping. This is nice. It's very balanced. Let's say this is a good balanced sauce. Okay, contender number two. This is Arthur Bryant's. I think um, it's definitely runnier than a traditional Kansas City style barbecue sauce. Let's get into this. <laughs> ah, I think this went bad. No, it's Best by March 28th, 2021. This is just how it's supposed to taste. Oh my gosh. People don't actually enjoy that, do they? This tastes more like a marinade uh, and not like a barbecue sauce. Okay, one, two, now three. Good old Heinz. I'm actually nervous I'm gonna like this one the best. Okay, ready, steady, goey. Too sweet, but would it be good on some ribs? Heck yeah, I think it would be good on some ribs. It is Heinz, uh, but it tastes like it came from a squeeze bottle that you can find in any local grocery store. <laughs> sweet, it's very sweet. If you like sweet, you're gonna love it. Number four, Kansas City's own barbecue sauce from Gates, the OG classic. I think it's also kind of cute because the bottle literally says, hi, may I help you? Yes, you may. I would like you to taste delicious. <laughs> Ooh, texture, it's definitely runny. It's the runniest one that we've had so far, which I don't know if um, I'm into that, but hey, it's from Kansas City, which makes it authentic. Ready? Interesting. Oh, you know what it is? Cumin. There's absolutely cumin in this. One thing I will mention too is that tanginess, and this definitely has some tang. This is not gonna be the one that you give your kids with their dino nuggets for dinner, but I, I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, lastly, we have Cow Town Barbecue Sauce. The, why I'm really into this, not only is there vinegar, they are putting in tamarind concentrate. I have high hopes for this. Okay, this is thick. Oh, wow. Ready? Yes. Complex. This is the most complex of the bunch. Oh, you definitely get some smokiness. It is sweet. It is really sweet. But what counters it is the tanginess, the smokiness, and the spices. It's like one second it's spicy, one second it's smoky, one second it's sweet. Move over competition because this is pretty damn good. So they all come from the same place, but they were very, very, very different. I'm going to say, unfortunately, fifth place is going to Arthur Bryant. Aww. It just did not taste right. <laughs> I understand that a lot of people like a way less sweet barbecue sauce option, one that could potentially work as a marinade, but this was just ugh, gross to me. I would have to say fourth place is gonna go to Gates? It's fine, it's fine. It's nothing special. I didn't actually like how runny it was. Um, third place for me is going to be Heinz. Now, 
I'm not hating this. It just was so sweet. My second place pick is Jack Stack Barbecue. It was decent, it was good. I think it was just a pretty decent overall barbecue sauce that I wouldn't hate putting on what I have for dinner. Last but not least, and probably unsurprisingly so, is my Cowtown number one. This was super fun to eat because it took me through the three S's that I mentioned, sweet, smoky, and spicy, and it had the thickness that I measure a Kansas City barbecue with. If you wanna try all of these sauces yourself, you can actually buy the kit of four from Kansas City on Amazon, or just log on to Amazon uh, with the link below and buy each of these individually.